Another fast-moving upper trough will bring a brief period of moderate and heavier road impacts to sections of northern and northeastern Wyoming late Wednesday afternoon through Wednesday night and continuing into much of Thursday. After a brief dry period tonight and Wednesday morning, we do expect scattered snow showers to develop by early afternoon Wednesday over most areas of the state. These showers, of course, will start out pretty light and continue to intensify as the afternoon unfolds. After about 5 p.m., this will lead to periods of moderate, even heavier snow along I-90 in sections of District 4, continuing Wednesday night and Thursday morning. The heavier snow showers will keep going through midday and then start to dissipate to scattered snow showers lighter amounts Thursday afternoon before ending altogether Thursday night. As for the rest of the state, not going to be hit quite as hard but we will still have a mix of low to occasionally moderate impacts over sections of Interstate 80 and Southern I-25. Again, hardest hit areas with our latest system will be in District 4. During the day Wednesday, dry conditions will eventually step aside for scattered snow showers. And after about 5 p.m. Wednesday, especially along and east of Gillette on I-90 headed towards the Black Hills, we can expect periods of moderate snow to develop getting heavier in the higher elevations through Wednesday night. Western sections of I-90 through the Big Horns and towards Sheridan and Montana will see their snow showers commence a little later in the evening after about 6 or 7 p.m. All of this will lead to slick roads and black ice along with some breezy winds causing some blowing snow and reduced visibility. For the rest of the state, western mountain passes and valleys will see scattered slick roads and slick spots with light to moderate snow Wednesday afternoon and evening. And there will be parts of Interstate 80 that get some occasional moderate impacts. A couple areas will be I-80 near Uinta County, Evanston to Lyman, as well as the higher elevations of I-80 between Rollins and Laramie. These areas, especially Wednesday afternoon and evening, could see more slick areas and spots maybe some breezy winds and localized areas of blowing snow. The rest of the state, generally a mix of low to scattered moderate impacts, low impacts in the Bighorn Basin, and generally low impacts uh, south of the Upper Green River Basin, could see bands of moderate snow hit the Pine Ridge and higher elevations along and either side of I-25 Wednesday afternoon and evening. Don't forget to call 511 or visit yoroad.info for the latest road conditions. And when there's ice and snow, Take it slow.